In other words, anime is becoming harder to sell and the amount of work is increasing, despite the fact that less money are being returned to the animators and production companies. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. I believe many of you have gotten interested in Japanese culture and history through anime. I myself love anime too. And my wife and I recently finished watching Assassination Classroom and Full Metal Alchemist together. However, despite the popularity of anime across the globe, did you know that people involved in the animation industry work in a terrible environment of low pay grades and extended work hours? So today, I'll first talk about how horrible the working environment is for animators in Japan. After that, I'll explain about the structural problems in the animation industry that causes such a situation. Finally, I will share ideas on what needs to be done now to make the animation industry sustainable, so please watch this video till the end. This video will help you to better understand not just the Japanese animation industry, but the Japanese business world itself, which would be useful for all those who are willing to work in Japan in the future. However, please note that I'm not involved in the anime industry in any way, and I have only studied through books and articles written by journalists. If there is anything you'd like to add to the story, please let me know in the comments. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on travel in Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So let's go. Then first, let's talk about how horrible the working environment in the anime industry is. The average annual salary for animators in Japan is 4.4 million yen. The average annual income for Japan as a whole is 4.33 million yen. So it may appear somewhat higher. However, 30% of the respondents have an annual income of 2.5 million yen or less and 33.1% of them are 29 years old or younger. In other words, the average annual income is extremely low for the younger age groups, with a large gap between those earning higher salaries. For example, compared to the US, the average annual salary of an animator is 75,000 US dollars, which is said to be about 8.25 million yen. This is about as twice as high as in Japan. Also, more than half of all animators are freelancers, and even those who work in a company are usually paid at a piece rate basis. In other words, to increase your salary, you need to show good enough results. There is, however, a limit to how much work you can do, so it is easy to fall into a vicious cycle where earning income requires more time commitment. So long working hours can also become a major problem. Some studies point out that the animator's average working hours is 12.4 hours a day, with over 80 hours of overtime per month and less than five days off per month. 80 times of overtime work per month is above the karoshi line and is very dangerous for one's health. Because countless numbers of people are suffering from physical or mental illnesses, it is becoming common sense in Japan that the animation industry is a terrible working environment. Then, let's talk about why anime is so popular, yet the people who work there are forced to work in such a terrible environment. The reason is said to lie in the structural problem of the animation industry. The Japanese animation industry is often operated and financed by the production committee system. A production committee is the name of the group of sponsors and related companies that financed the production of the work. This method became the mainstream business model in Japan after the huge success of Neon Genesis Evangelion that was broadcast from 1995. The production committee system has the following advantages. 
One, multiple companies investing together allows to spread the risk on one company. Two, participation of a wide variety of companies facilitates media mix and advertising. Three, production companies and animators can concentrate on production. If a publishing company participates, it can create a novel or manga. If a recording company participates, it can create original character songs and live performances. If a game company participates, it can produce and sell games and so on, creating a wide variety of revenue streams. Even if one part of the project fails, if some other part can cover for it, the project as a whole has a better chance of success. The current success of the Japanese animation industry is greatly due to this production committee system. Today, however, about 40% of Japanese animation production companies operate at a loss, and they are going bankrupt one after another. This is because the production committee system has the following disadvantages too. One, no matter how successful the anime is, the profit is not paid back to the production company or the animators. Various companies interfere with the content of the work, making it difficult to create a unique product. The advantages used to exceed the disadvantages in the past, but now the disadvantages have become more significant due to these two problems. One, the increase in the number of genres and works has made it harder to create hits. Two, increased workload due to improved drawing quality. In other words, anime is becoming harder to sell and the amount of work is increasing, despite the fact that less money are being returned to the animators and production companies. And with the increase in the number of unsuccessful productions, the risk of the funding companies increases, and they begin to meddle more in the production, making it even more difficult to create unique creations. But because the number of productions is increasing today, a negative cycle is taking place in which non-unique productions end up not selling well. What's even worse is that even though the work environment is so poor, there is hardly any shortage of human resources. Even though they know how low the wages are and how long the working hours are, there constantly are young people who want to work in the animation industry. Because the industry has no shortage of human resources, the urgency to make improvements is reduced. But of course, the environment does not improve the technical skills of the younger generations, and it is said that the overall quality of Japanese animators have been declining. Then lastly, I will introduce some measures taking place on how the animation industry can survive and thrive further. One, sole investment. Two, the partnership method. Three, running schools for animators. Four, crowdfunding. The disadvantages of the production committee method explained earlier can be resolved if one company solely invests or the production company invests itself. This was actually done with some anime works such as Pop Team Epic, the new Evangelion movies, and Demon Slayer. No one will question the big success that these animations have accomplished, right? Of course, sole investment carries a high risk on one company if it fails, but without that level of creativity, it may not be possible to succeed in today's world. Of anime. Another approach is the partnership method. It is a system in which a production company owns the rights to the production and takes royalties or sells them to companies that wants to produce, sell, and distribute products related to the animation. This is exactly how Kemono Friends was created. This way, if the animation becomes a hit, the money will be properly returned to the production company in which the animators belong. Thirdly, running schools to train future talented animators is a perfect business for production companies too. This is because they know the field of anime the best and have the actual technology and experience. This of course will be a great source of income for the production companies. If you're interested in actually going to train to become an animator in the future, I think it would be best to search for such schools. Lastly, it is said that anime production and crowdfunding go very well together. 
This is because there are many materials in anime production that can be given back to fans in form of merchandise, such as setting materials, copyrighted original drawings, pilot films, and key visual illustrations, making it easy to set up crowdfunding returns. Until recently, the conventional belief was that production costs should be collected from companies. But now there is a system to receive funding directly from the viewers. A representative example of an animation film that was very successful using crowdfunding is Kono Sekai no Katasumi. The film far exceeded its 20 million yen goal, with 3,374 supporters contributing 39.12 million yen. The film earned over 2.7 billion yen at its final box office, with a production cost of 250 million yen. It is not easy to develop an organization that can take the lead in producing animation, have its own financial strength, and hold the ability to negotiate with others in and out of the industry to secure the maximum profit for itself. But because anime is one of the most popular cultures that Japan can offer to the world, I hope that the industry will gradually develop in the future. If you're interested in working in the Japanese animation industry, please try to find a company that is making efforts to confront and solve the current problems. Then lastly, today's conclusion. Despite the global popularity of anime, people involved in the animation industry work in a terrible environment of low pay and overtime work. Most young animators are paid far below the average annual income in Japan. And because they're basically paid on a piece rate basis, many work long hours under the risk of karoshi. This is because the Japanese animation industry is still often operated and financed by the production committee system, which is the name of the group of sponsors and related companies that finance the production of the work. Although the current success of the anime industry is largely due to the system and its benefits of lowering risk on one company, today with the increasing number of genres, works of anime, and workload due to improved drawing quality, it is starting to do more harm than good. In order to change this terrible situation, many companies are taking measures such as sole investment using the partnership method, running schools for animators, and crowdfunding. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you to deepen your understanding towards the anime industry in Japan, please hit the like button to help me boost this video to more viewers. And our goal is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help would mean a lot. And please check out our sub-channel and membership through the link inside the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. By the way, I'm going to be going way back to the beginning of this video, but I, I, but I believe I explained that I watched uh, Assassination Classroom and Full Metal Alchemist. Um, if you're a fan of anime, you might have thought, wow, Shogo, now? <laughs> Those are pretty old, right? It's, it's because my wife have, has not watched anime as she grew up. Her parents, my parents-in-law now, were very strict. Um, she needed to do a lot of studying and video games, you know, uh, watching anime, reading manga, were prohibited by her parents, so she did not watch any anime growing up. So now that she is free, you know, living with me and having her own family, she has a little bit more of freedom to watch anime. And for a long time, she was like, uh, anime, no, I'm not, 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 not that kind of person. But once I started forcing her to watch some anime, she is definitely falling in love with it too. And so that's the reason why we, I, we watched together some of my favorites that I used to watch when I was still, you know, in my teens and such, yeah. But recently, I have really been enjoying watching My Hero Academia, also uh, Demon Slayer, of course. I recently watched also, if you guys know, like on Amazon Prime, Spy Family recently started, and I have been really, really enjoying that a lot. And in, in above all of the anime I've watched, including manga too, definitely Gintama is my favorite, as I said a lot in my past videos. So yeah, actually, let me, let me know in the comments of what's your favorite anime, by the way. Yeah, top three or something would be even more exciting, so please let me know in the comments.